Okay, while these cushions are in, I'm just going to do a couple of repairs on them. Uh, there's a couple of cushions which I've repaired before. I don't know if you can see. Looks like what's happened is I've enlarged the bolt hole and drilled straight through the cushion capping and then put some dowling in, which of course has cracked because it's ingrained and it's just a little bit of a mess. Uh, so we're just going to make a, a, bit, a bit better repair. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to put it in place. A little bit of a jig what we've made. It just sits over the top. Secure that with a clamp. It's not going anywhere. And then again. Flush cutting bait in the router, it just follows the form. And then it just nips away a nice patch. is what I've pre-made and it just a nice tight I'm not gonna push it all the way because we'll get it out a nice tight fit all the way up that curve there just used a eight mil round over bit in in the router just to, just to get that shape so now we're just gonna glue it up and clamp it in and it's set overnight Obviously now these cushion cappings are going to get a polish. Might as well do while they're in. Okay, now we're just going to push this in. Nice and tight. It's a nice tight fit. Clamp that down with the block. Just putting a piece of paper in between. So if the glue does seep out and it sticks to the, the paper rather than the block, then it don't pull, pull any of the grain off. And we'll just clamp that down. Leave that to sit overnight and then we can trim it and then the cushion cappings will get scraped, sanded and then into the finishing room for polishing. Okay, we're ready to scrape and sand the cushion capping. But before I do that, I'm just going to take my block with 40 grit in again. I'm just going to sand the top of the block where the rubber meets just to remove any excess glue and uh, make sure that we've got a nice flush edge between the block and the rubber. And also just these tops of the top cut, both corners and middles, just so there's no sharp edge, so it doesn't wear the cloth away prematurely. Right, next to the screen. 
scrape the cushion cappings. So we just get our furniture scraper and lightly high pressure just to take the polish off. Nice, 
smooth surface. No lips and this pushing down on the rubber is uh, it's well adhered to the block. What we're going to do next is going to mask the block and the rubber up just to protect from any overspray from the finishing. It's a good indication if there's any imperfections between the block and the rubber, it will show through because it's a hell of a lot thinner than our cushion tape what we use. There's no imperfections, it is flush all the way along. So it's not going to show through either through the cushion tape or the cloth. Okay, right into the finishing room. So coat of stain, coat of sealer, and between two and three coats of lacquer, depending on how it settles. Um, okay, that's his next job. Okay, we're now in the drying room. The, I've had one coat of stain and also one coat of sealer. Uh, I've added a stain to the sealer at 5% just to unify the color and bring it to a nice color what I'm happy with. That is the first patch repair what we did, what's come up quite nice. That's the second one. Okay, so the next job is to give these cushions a coat of 5% lacquer. So I'll give them two coats, I think, looking at these. Use 40%, it's like a satin, satin finish, which naturally glosses up over time. And these will come out very nice. Okay, next job is to apply the lacquer. Okay, we've had two coats of lacquer now applied and these have been dried over the weekend. Nice colour, nice finish. These are our two repair patches. That's the first one. That's the second one. Second one looks a lot nicer. But still a nice solid repair. Okay. So next job now is to tape up and uh, make the retaining slips. Okay, next job is to apply the cushion tape and fit the retaining slits. We're using cloth cushion tape, specific for the job. Even a little bit of overhang just to go down the little bit. Two incisions at the top to get around the corner. One, two, and just one here so you can fold it down the rear bit. Okay. Okay, starting at the back. Just fold it around, make sure there's no bubbles. No creases. Last one. And a small incision here to get around the corner. There we go. Same other end. Over the edge. That's a nice, neat 
That's a push and take done. It's nice and nice and flush. You can't see any. Just doing the trick line between the rubber and the block. It's nice and flat. So there's nothing going to show. Comes covering. Use cloth tape. It's got a certain little bit of elasticity in it. So it follows the rubber, gives the lateral support. We have you seen other tape used like gaffer tape or masking tape. It's not ideal. Uh, don't know why people do choose to use it. It's just, it just makes a mess underneath the cloth. It wrinkles up and it, it, it does, it just makes a mess. So this is why we always use this cloth tape. It's, it's what it's designed for. Right, next, retaining slip. Again, made out of tulip wood. Our rebate is uh, 10 by eight. So these have been machined down to eight by six. And then just gives us a nice snug fit when we come to cover the cushions. So first of all, we'll get our angles. Using our junior hack, just find our ankle there and move it out of way and cut that. I am cutting back on the self. This top edge fits flush against the rubber, but then there's a chamfer, so any cloth what gets caught going round will push. The rubber out but still gives us a nice tight edge at the top okay i'll do the same on the other side making sure we've got a smooth fit Next job is put a bevel at the bottom bottom edge. Two passes with our plane should do it. Back third way up the up the slit. That way the slip. The seat nicely into the reboot when we start to cover. Just gives it a helping hand going in. See it there. Okay. Last thing is our reference point. One on the slip and on the block. Our cushion number, which is one, and the direction of the nap, which is two to the left. There we go. All taped up, slips made. Next job is to cover. Okay, so there we have it. Complete cushion all recovered. This is one that we put one of the patches in. You can just see it there. It's come out quite nice and nice repair is that. Nice and flat on the top, no ridge. Okay, now then we're ready for fitting. Okay, here we are, day of install and all complete. Table's been fitted with Hainsworth Precision bed cloth. Tournament rails. A 
Nice colour match. Is uh, one of our repair patches. There we go. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it.